All right, guys, here we go. Next video, we're going to do one here on the Flashpoint. Now, you'll notice I am in alone with just my companion. And this is the Flashpoint. It is a story-driven dungeon, basically. Pretty cool. Tell the captain that I'll be back on the bridge as soon as I've done his errand. Yes, sir. Good to have you aboard. I'm Lieutenant Silas, second in command of the Black Talon. We're your ride to Drum and Cass. Is there a reason your captain isn't bothering to greet me? We may only be a transport, but someone needs to stay on the bridge, and the captain prefers to keep to himself. On our present course, we should arrive at the capital within a day. Won't be any trouble. I should also add on behalf of everyone, it's an honor to serve as the Sith in the Korriban Academy. Consider yourself our guest. You should consider yourself fortunate. Understood, my lord. I won't keep you further. When we arrive in the Dromen system, I'll have you informed. In the meantime, your droids in the conference room. We picked it up with the upgrades from Geonosis. When we docked here, it mentioned your name. Sorry, I don't know what droid you're talking about. Oh? The machine asked for you, so I assumed you were the owner. My mistake. In any case, it seems someone wants to get in touch. The conference room is down the hall. I'll be on the bridge. And you, soldier, when you're done playing honor guard, get back to your post. This isn't a luxury yacht. Yes, sir. Alright, now you'll notice while I was talking to him, the little picture of my Kim Vol was popping up with plus 15 and stuff on it that's affection points by the way you answer now you'll see here that it's telling me a two-player group is recommended but when well hell I went in the wrong door okay when you do this and you talk here you're gonna wait for everybody to click to get into the conversation and then you, you, when you choose, it's a roll of the dice on whose answer goes and then who gets the most points for the social part of it. Identity confirmed. Good day. I'm Advanced Protocol Unit NRO2. My functions are diplomacy, translation, manslaughter, and calumniation. I have an urgent message for you from my master. Please stand by for delivery. What makes you think I care what your master has to say? I am certain you will be interested. Anyone traveling through Imperial space must listen to my master. This is Unit NRO2 to Grand Moff Kilrin. You are now in contact with a Black Talon. Well, so I am. And it seems you've brought me just the person I've been looking for. My name is Rikus Kilrin. I'm commander of the Fifth Fleet, second to the Minister of War, and my personal favorite, the so-called Butcher of Coruscant. Something wrong with the hologram? Or is your face supposed to look like that? The scars? They're an old gift from a Jedi friend. I barely notice them anymore. Six hours ago, the Republic engaged in an illegal border skirmish on the edges of Imperial territory. One enemy warship escaped. That warship, the Brentel Star, is carrying a passenger of vital strategic importance. Yours is the only vessel placed to intercept. How unfortunate for you. I don't believe you're right. Let me explain. The warship's passenger is codenamed the General. We don't know his identity, but the Republic believes he possesses military secrets, our military secrets. I trust the reports. The General must be captured or killed. Captain Orzik, the man commanding your transport, doesn't share my enthusiasm. He's disobeyed my orders to attack. Feel free to show him what the Empire does to cowards. Then commandeer his ship, find the Brentel Star, and deal with the General. I've been looking for a reason to cause some chaos. Truly it's comforting to find patriots in this age of skirmishes and border disputes. We need individuals like you if we're to survive the next great war. I will lead the way to the bridge. Once Captain Orsic is deposed and our hijacking is complete, we may proceed to the Brentall Star. Excellent. 
then I will proceed. So that sets up the story of what you're going to do. Now everything you do beyond this will affect the game. And I would probably say I'm not going to get very far in this. Because, yeah, let's see how we do. But Please move aside immediately. It's the first fight. Halt! My lord, this is a restricted area. Captain Orzik's command. You'll have to leave immediately. Looks like it's your turn to die now. Blasters out! Attack! Attack! You must proceed to the bridge immediately. Alright, we survived the first fight there. Let me show you what I was talking about in the first video. See, to gain life back. <coughs> this is the Inquisitor's version of it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Credits, great. Now... I know what's going to happen here because it, I've been through here a couple of times. I'm going to send my pet in and let him take the shit of the damage. There we go, level 16. Yeah, I am a little higher level than this place too, for those who are wondering. I'm not that good. Well, actually I am. <laughs> Here we go again. Concerned about the loss of life, I assure you, the deaths of all injured crew members will be strategically insignificant. Yes, those are sitting around all over the place I've found in most of these instances. Uh, they one-shot everything. So me and Kim been looking pretty badass walking through here, but we're about to fight a boss, and I don't think we're going to make it past him, because I'm not a healer. Oh, yeah, I'll show you something else Inquisitor can do. 
Okay, show you something else that a quizzer can do here, and that is uh, crowd control. One second. Hello, Druid. And that is that part of it. So I'm going to end it there. I don't want to ruin the story for y'all. But can't believe I made it this far solo. Well, duo. Anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.